Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, among other things, we're going to explore the question, where is the best place for a freight hub? So where is the best place for a freight hub anyway? The answer is obvious, right? It probably should go here, or maybe over there, or what about way down there? Well, let's just get started. The random seed code for this map and the mods enabled are listed in the description of the video. Now in real world geography, if it was the real world, which this is not, you'd probably put a freight hub somewhere in the center, the geographic center, of your area. Like for example, around the town of Elizabeth. Trains would do the long hauls and trucks would do the short ones. But this isn't the real world. This is Transport Fever 2. And in this game, we get paid as the crow flies. So the more we transport, the longer the distance we move goods, and the faster we do it, the more money we make. So with that logic in mind, where or where is the best place for a freight hub? Well, I would argue that it's somewhere at the end of the map. Like maybe somewhere over here by the town of Inglewood. If we were to put a freight hub somewhere in this area, that affords us the opportunity to transport goods from clear across the map to this location, for which we get paid. Then it also gives us the opportunity to transport goods in some cases clear across to the other side of the map. Now that won't be in all cases, but this would maximize our opportunity. And I suppose you could argue that maybe the corner is the best place, that, that's a little bit logistically difficult by the looks of it. But down here by the town of Inglewood, we've got lots of open space, and practically speaking, it's a pretty good place for a freight hub. So let's go in a little closer and start doing some work. Now I could try to butt it right up against the side of the map, but I may need that space for other things in the future. So what I'm going to do is just rearrange this road to start out. I'm just going to blow that up and get it out of the way. Well, actually, I'm going to straighten it out is what I'm going to do. But for the moment, I'm just going to bulldoze it. And then back over to roads, and I think I'll just put a country road in. I'm going to put a big one in. I'm not sure if I need it in the future, but I can always change it. And I'm going to say yes to player ownership. And just put a nice straight road in. I just want to kind of parallel to the end of the map, that kind of thing. And probably something like that. And then I'll make some curved road here and just reconnect this up. But actually, let's just straighten that out or add a little bit to it, just a little bit more. And then I don't need, well, actually, I'll just go over here and maybe put a little curve section in and connect that up. And then for continuity, I'll just go like that. Now, I'll just reconnect that section right now. I don't need it right now, but let's just do that. I'll put in a little curve section and then just hook that back up. I don't like that at all, actually. Let's just redo that. That didn't work out the way I had hoped. I kind of want it more like this. Go back we go over to here, and it's a large country road. And maybe just a little more, a little more like that ought to do it, I think. And then we'll put a curved road in over here. And maybe just connect up like that. And then over to a smaller road. And we'll connect that up. Nice and simple. All right, so now we have a place to put our cargo hub. So over to trains, and let's go to buildings. So there's a cargo hub. So of course, there's going to be a hub. It's probably going to have a lot of track. So why don't we just put in the full eight, go 320. Um, in terms of track type, I'm just going to go standard. And I'm going to say yes to catenary. I don't know that all my lines would be electric. In fact, I know they all won't be. But I just want to do that now because I don't want to have to change it later. 
and we'll turn that around try to line it up fairly nicely and plop it right about the middle and there's the beginning of our freight hub so now the question is where do we go from here well we put this freight hub at the very end to give us the opportunity to transport from across the other end of the map so let's go to the other end of the map and I could pick something like, for example, coal, which is about as far away as you can get it at the Victoriaville coal mine. So we could transport coal all the way from there back to our freight hub on the other side of the map. Let's zero in on the Victoriaville coal mine. Now we got a couple of options here in terms of track location and well, maybe three possible options. We could try to sneak through the mountains through here, sorry, the Mises. We could take the more roundabout route and probably less costly in terms of tunnels by going this way, but that's not as the crow flies. So more as the crow flies would be going this direction here, but we're going to have to cut right through those Mises. Well, actually, those are mountains. Mises and mountains, I sometimes get mixed up. So I'm going to stick a little road in here if I can, and we'll just make it straight and see if I can butt it right up to this coal mine. There's a little bit of a change in elevation there, or difference in elevation. And that's a funny connection there, but it looks like it is in fact connecting. I just like to have a road in when I make my cargo terminals. Let's go over to trains and pick out what we want. We want a cargo terminal. One track's going to be sufficient. 320 standard, and in this case I'm going to say no to the catenary. And we'll spin them around and see if we can find a good place for them. Now over here, that's going to be pretty expensive. And that looks like the best place to cut through the small mountain there. We're going to have a tunnel right off the bat, but I think it will work. So let's plop him right there. Now let's put some track down. And we're going to kind of cut through this area here, down past that farm, and then try to make a beeline for our new cargo hub. So with all this landscaping around, it's going to be like threading the needle. But let's get started. Over to tracks. And let's see if we can just thread through here without costing ourselves too much money. So we'll start there. And yeah, we knew we were going to have a tunnel right off the bat. That's not a surprise. And we'll kind of scoot around this mountain. Oh, that's a little too high. And we'll just keep going nice and gently through this area to try to minimize you know I could have gone over this way but I think that would have been too sharp so I have, might have, have a little tiny tunnel there which I can live with and then I want to cut down through here and maybe I can just squeak right past that farm and miss all of that so let's go down here and I think I'm going to go to double track at this point and just make a nice gentle curve, as gentle I, as I can get it. And then off we go. And just keep building that track to make sure it's nice and smooth. And we don't get a whole lot of tunnels or bridges or anything like that. It's going to cost us a ton of money. Now, this is going to be a tricky area to get through. I don't think we can go that side of the farm, probably through here. It's going to be a little bit tight, but I think I can do it. And it's probably the best way to go. I'm going to sneak it right through there if I can. And of course, every time we make a crossing, I wish it would give me parallel track, even though I'm crossing a road, but it doesn't do that. All right, so let's line ourselves up and try to hit the smallest little bump there in the Misa. That'll minimize the tunnel that we got to make. And then we'll go through there. Nice and gently. And now I want to squeeze through between the Misa and the farm. Let's see if I can do that in a reasonable way. The track might be a little more curved or angular than I hope, but actually no, that's working out pretty good. So then I gotta squeeze through this area. And there might be another tunnel here, I'm not really sure. 
but we'll try to minimize that and make the track as smooth and gentle as possible. And then we'll come around. Oh, we got a little bit too high there. Oh, that's going to be a problem. So maybe we'll go just a little bit slower. Okay, it's going to want to go up a little bit. And let's have it go down. There we go. So now we're more at grade, so to speak. All right, so now I'm going to head to just the, onto the left side that logging operation. So let's just keep going and do it nice and smooth, and we'll make our way over that way. And just right across. And of course, I'll have to double it up here. I'm not sure why the parallel feature doesn't work when you cross a road or another train track. I never understood that one, but anyway, that's the way it seems to be. And unless maybe one of my settings is not correct. And we'll keep putting that track in nice and gently. Maybe I should have gone that way. No, I'm going to continue through here. I think that's the best course of action, kind of stay away from that junction, but I'm going to have to cross some tracks here. So, you know, maybe I wanted to go that side of Elizabeth, so possibly I should have gone this side of that logging operation. Well, you know, that's why they make a bulldozer in this game, so you can get a refund and try something different. Let's just bulldoze some of that out. And I'm sure we can fix that very easily or regroup. And just go that way instead. And we'll stay away from those problems where that bridge is. And we'll just go past that logging operation. And yeah, I just want to go that side. That side or this side? Maybe I want to go this side of Elizabeth. All right, so let's aim for that. And we'll just motor on down here. We got a bit of a grade difference at this track crossing here, so I might have to put in a tiny little bridge or something to make this work. So why don't we go up a little bit and see if that helps us and then go across. There we go, a nice little, well, it's got a bit of a curve to it, doesn't it? Let's get him out of there and let's go back and do that a little more straighter and pick a bridge that we like or one I like anyway and let's just see what it looks like that's pretty flat I'm wondering could I get him to go down a little bit I can down some more bridge pillar collision if I go up it isn't a collision okay well let's just go with that and I got two tracks out of it. All right, and we'll go that way. And we'll continue on our way to Elizabeth. Oh, we got a tunnel here. I don't want that. Well, again, that's why they gave us a bulldozer, is to kind of fix some of these things. Let's go down here and back to tracks. And let's see. Oh, that was sloppy. Very sloppy. You know, that works. And let's see if I can cross. Well, let's just maybe go like this. Yeah, we just want to go either one side of Elizabeth, not right through it. At least I don't think the town would like that if we did. And pass this operation. So where are we headed after we go past Elizabeth? Well, actually, we're headed right over there. So we're going to make a little bit of a left turn after we go past the town of Elizabeth. So as we go past this iron mine, I'm going to remember that as an opportunity because if we're hauling coal, we're also going to be hauling iron because we're going to be making steel at one some point. So I have to keep that one in mind. And now we're on the straightaway, so to speak. Should be pretty straight from here. Just to make our way all the way over to that hub. And that should make us a lot of money. Well, once we get things going, that is. Now as we get closer to our freight hub, 
The question is, well, what track should we connect up to? I don't think it really matters at this point. We can always change it later, which means if we have lines, we'll have to change the terminals that the, or the platforms that our line connects to. But I think for argument's sake, we can just connect up in the middle somewhere for the moment. And maybe at this point, I'll just go back to a single track. So let's just make it a connection somewhere in the middle. That's what we'll aim for. And something like, say, that. And then while we're here, we'll make that connection. Now, of course, we need signals. So I've got the auto sig mod now. I'm going to say one way yes in this case. I'm going to say no to the auto signal. And then we'll turn it around, and this time I'm going to say yes. I'm hoping it just plops signals down all the way down. And I want to thank the viewer that suggested this mod. I think it's really cool, actually. And there we go. We got signals almost all the way down here. Let's just check it out. At least in one direction anyway, which is really neat. That was really cool. Saved me a whole lot of work, so thank you for suggesting that. And that'll take us all the way in, all down to here, and of course, I gotta make a track connection there. Go back over to track, and we'll just connect up here before we get to that tunnel. And I gotta go back to signals, and just put in one little signal there. Now, let's see, I guess I should take that one out, it's a little too close. Let's just take out that signal there, that one was a little too close. Okay, back to trains, and over to signals. I'm going to say yes for the one way, and yes for the auto signal. I've got the distance every 500 meters. I'm hoping that works out well, and we'll plop one there. And... Ah, that got two there. Yeah, it looks like it's working pretty good, that auto sig mod. I'm just going to check down the line to make sure I have signals on both tracks all the way down. All right, we have all our signals in place now. So just to recap, what did we do? Well, we went all the way down to the Victoriaville coal mine. Is that what it was called? the Victoriaville coal mine. We built a hub here and we wiggled our way with a double track through the mountains, through the Mises, tried to get as much as possible as the crow flies without hitting all of this stuff here, which would have cost us a mint. And then once we get onto the more clear area, avoid all this stuff and make a beeline for this, which is our future cargo hub. It's not much of a hub right now, but it will be in the future. I'm going to go over to trains and throw in a train depot. So let's uh, put one in right about here. We'll spin him around. And I'm going to put him pretty far away because it's going to be tracks all over the place heading to that thing. So. I might as well just keep him way out of the way and put him over here. That way when things get more complicated, it's not an issue. And actually, I just want to go back to buildings. I had said no to Catenary. I, You know what? I should have said yes. Let's blow that up. And because I want to make sure that whether I'm building electric trains or diesel trains or locomotives, sorry, steam locomotives, I can get whatever I want out of that train depot. Oh, I should have said yes, so we'll fix that. And we'll keep them over here, and then back to tracks. I can always change the track later. I don't need to worry about that at the moment. And at this point, I just want him to go... Well, I'm not sure which way. I guess I can have him go both ways. But really, I don't need a train depot down here. I needed the train depot at the other end right now. So let's go way down, back to the other end. So where I really needed the train depot was back here, somewhere near the 
Victoriaville coal mine. Well, that might be a little tricky, but we can probably fit it in here somewhere. And, you know, as long as it's fairly close to this end, that's a lot better than way over at the other end. And having the train have to make its way all the way down here, you know, maybe I could sneak it in right about in here somewhere. But I want to be careful. I don't want to be too close to this cargo terminal because as the trains get longer, they'll end up going right past. So let's just move it out a little bit. And maybe right about in here somewhere. Go back over to buildings. A train depot. I'll say standard and yes. And spin that around a little bit. Plop them in there. Go to tracks. No and no. And we'll just connect this guy up. And it won't be one way. And no, I don't want to use auto sig in this case. And we'll put him on this side of the road. I could always put a bridge over there. And why don't I do that? I guess I don't have to worry about a bridge here just yet. There aren't any vehicles, so why waste the money? All right, let's set up our line. So over here at the Victoriaville coal mine, we're going to set ourselves a new line. Of course, we'll start here. And we're going to go all the way over way across the map is going to make us oodles and oodles of money we hope and right to there and of course what do we want him to do well let's have him full load all and stay for as long as he wants and then when he gets to Inglewood West we're going to simply have him unload everything now back over at our train depot let's buy ourselves a train We'll buy a vehicle and let's just see what we've got in terms of locomotives. Well, it looks like this one is about the biggest, baddest one we've got at the time. So let's buy the 4122 Class 9000 and then go over to cargo. So, what carries coal? Well, the gondolas do. Let's see how many of these we can get and still have at least a good to mediocre power rating. Well, there's 30 gondolas for the low, low price of about $30 million. Let's buy that and bump up the maintenance and we'll apply it to our line one. And then, of course, I'll go back to line one and give it a name that means something. We'll click on here, go back to line one, manage the line. And I've called it the Victoriaville Coal Train. So here comes our new train. He's moving kind of slow, but he's actually carrying a lot of cars behind him and he's just getting started. So that's going to take a while to get going. So this guy now is making his way toward the Victoriaville coal mine. It'll take him a little while to get there. And of course, when he gets there, nothing's going to happen just yet. He's not going to load. And the reason he's not going to load yet is it's not good enough that we just take coal from the Victoriaville coal mine and take it all the way across the map to our little train hub or freight hub. What we need to do is take the coal to its final location. So we need another train line in place and operating before this will load. Well, folks, I think that's enough for today. We've accomplished quite a lot. We've got the beginnings of a freight hub in place. And we've got a new line in place, which we've called the Victoriaville Coal Train, going from the Victoriaville East Coal Mine all the way down to our hub on the other side of the map. So where do we go from here? Well, the answer to that question lies in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube and they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on that box now, sit back, relax and enjoy another video.